Donations are already in the hundreds of millions of dollars towards the rebuilding of the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. It took heavy losses in that devastating fire Monday. Tonight, we're getting new information about what happened to some of the irreplaceable treasures inside. Senior Foreign Affairs Correspondent Greg Palcott is in Paris tonight. Good evening, Greg. Brett, some 24 hours ago, the Notre Dame Cathedral behind us was still up in flames. Now that the devastation is beginning to be known, the task ahead is clear, but difficult. As dawn broke in Paris, the damage done to Notre Dame was evident. The spire of the cathedral toppled, much of the roof destroyed, expanses of the interior damaged. But with the work of 400 firefighters, one badly injured, using water pump from the River Seine, after 12 hours, the fire was under control. What we saw tonight, together, in Paris, is this capacity to mobilize, to unite, in order to win. While the fire raged, church workers entered the cathedral and saved priceless artifacts including the crown of thorns venerated by Christians as that worn by Christ. A gold cross over the altar shone like a beacon of hope, rose windows hopefully saved. And the integrity of the cathedral threatened for hours in the inferno was secured. As a whole, the structure is holding up. Some vulnerabilities have been identified. For the next 48 hours, engineers will ensure the building is safe to enter. And then a team of 50 inspectors will find out what caused the blaze. Terrorism has definitely been ruled out, arson probably, an accident related to the cathedral's renovation suspected. We have told our staff that they should cooperate with all police units without restrictions. The restoration task lies ahead. French President Macron set the ambitious goal of five years for completion. He will have the money. $700 million has already been offered. Funds including from the U.S. France will always be there for us, and we are always there for France. The terrible destruction of a national and international symbol bringing people together on the streets of Paris in song. In prayers during this Holy Week, Pope Francis hoping the Notre Dame Cathedral will once again be a spiritual gift to humanity. And in words. This is the mother of the city. And, uh, you know, the city that suffered so much. Oh, it's devastated. It's a loss for the world. We know it's important what happened, but we know also that uh, we feel really united. In fact, for a country so badly politically divided as France is right now, there could be a silver lining in this black cloud, but at a terrible cost. Brett. Greg Palcott, live in Paris just after midnight there. Greg, thanks.